Hello Soul Family, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be Messages from your person. What do they want to say to you? But before we get started, I just want to say really quickly that if you like this kind of video and you would like for me to make more of them, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you do. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. Also in the video description is where you'll find your timestamps. This is going to be option number one with the domino, option number two with the the clear quartz pendant, option number three with the watch, and option number four, this is actually a fossil watch, and option number four with the bunny. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out what they want to say to you. All right, so here we have the cards for option number one with the the um, domino, and it has the number 11 on it, and this is actually a special object to me, and it has Puerto Rico on the back. I found it randomly. Well, out and about at a park. All right. So first we have... Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? I keep comparing others to you. I'm not the same person that you remember. I'm in a much better headspace now. I like how these ones kind of came together nicely. Clarifying, would you give me the chance to make things right between us is Scythe. Clarifying, I keep comparing others to you is Ship. Clarifying, I'm not the same person that you remember is Cross. Clarifying, I'm in a much better headspace now. We have Compass. Clarifying Scythe, we have Coffin. Clarifying ship, we have karmic relationship. Clarifying cross, we have twin flames. Clarifying compass, we have camera. And then for your oracle cards, we have spaciousness, travel. We have message in a bottle and all that glitters. And then these right here are your love oracle cards and I'll read those at the end. All right, so uh, would you give me the chance to make things right between us? You know, through all of these cards, I'm feeling like there could be a, there's a third party situation. If you're, there's not a third party situation, you're in the wrong pile. I'm just going to say that because we got karmic relationship and twin flames here. And on top of that, this is a, a karmic slash twin flame reading. So if that's not the dynamic, you know that you're in, then you probably should pick another pile. Anyway, so what it's saying is that would you give me the chance to make things right between us? I feel like that maybe they cut you off. Maybe they pick someone else over you. Endings bring new beginnings. That or they did or you did. Okay, so switch this. So th there's three people who could end up getting this reading. You could either be one of the twin flames who actually is in a current relationship right now that you're wanting to leave. The other person that you could be is the karmic who is actually in a relationship with the other person and you're trying to stay in that relationship. But I don't feel like that most of you is gonna be the karmic, but I, I imagine a couple will, will manage to get their way in. And then the other one is the twin flame, which is the third party. Okay, that's another person. There's a twin flame dynamic here. Okay, between a third party. And so what I'm seeing is that 
The person who is in a relationship, they pick someone else to rue them. All right, endings need to bring new beginnings. And the thing is, is that this person wants to cut off this other person, the karmic, and come towards you if you're the, you know, know who you are. <laughs> come on, this is too hard to like say it in different perspectives. But would you give me the chance to make things right? Because what would they want to make right is that they want to be able to change their mind, basically. They want to change their mind to be able to come towards you. We have, I keep comparing others to you, and you know who they keep comparing to you is the karmic. The karmic keeps getting compared to the other twin flame, okay? And they are learning about love. They're learning about, oh my God. I feel like they're also being triggered because their their karmic is not comparing to you. With a ship, they are definitely wanting to move away from their um, karmic because they they just they don't compare to you at all. Then I'm not the same person that you remember and with the cross and twin flames. So what I'm saying with I'm not the same person that you remember, this is a person, I feel like they're, they've gained more faith. They're starting to believe more and have more faith in your connection and that you are have a special soul connection and that you are perhaps even twin flames. And also I'm hearing that there is a certain degree of suffering that has they have gone through in order to help them understand this and to gain this perspective. I'm in a much better headspace now. So now I feel like they're starting to understand that with the compass card is about like finding your true north, your purpose, your path. They're starting to understand their purpose and preparing for it. So they've learned from the past and they're, I feel like they're ready to start making new memories. We have camera, so that could mean something to you. All right, then we have spaciousness, and I gotta pick these up and look at them because I, ha I haven't really read any of these. What do I, what do I no longer need? Help me, God. Yeah, this person's been praying, and they're trying to connect to the divine so they can try to get answers about what they should be doing and their purpose. But they also want to say they want to have space. They want to travel to, and they want to travel to you. And, but it's also talking about they want freedom and there's like a, there's they want to go on a journey with you and it's either going to be a physical journey or a spiritual one then we have message in a bottle and notice it's in a bottle okay they're they're sorry is what I'm hearing is that they're sorry that communication is taking so long for them to be able to because they are still having some, they are a bit self-conscious still and all that glitters. So they feel like, you know, that maybe you see them or you're seeing yourself as all that glitters. So, um, so all that glitters is gold, right? But if what if this card is about, if all that glitters is gone, would you still like that person? So they're feeling like that. It's like if everything, if all that glitters was gone, if everything that you think that I am, all, all of the, um, the beautiful things that you think about me if all that was gone would you still love me for me would you still like me for who I am and I feel like that with that they're starting to like feel it's like they're feeling like I wonder like if you're gonna accept them for who they think you are for they actually who they are and not who that just they think you are then we have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds or surrounds you at the point of the present enjoy it so they have a lot of passion for you and they want to tell you that and transformation they've definitely been going through transformation and your relationship too. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Anyways, that's all I have for option number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to option number two. All right, so here we have the cards for option number two with the clear quartz pendant. And let's go ahead and find out what your person wants to say to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there, that's messages. All right, I'll read that at the end. All right, so first we have, I care too much about what others think right now. 
And we have, I just want you to be happy. Your words linger in my mind. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. All right, clarifying. I care too much about what others think right now. We have mask. Clarifying, I just want you to be happy. We have house. Clarifying, your words linger in my mind. We have labyrinth. Clarifying, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. We have coffin. Clarifying mask, we have kisses. Clarifying house, we have not enough. Clarifying labyrinth, we have I like you. Clarifying coffin, we have keys on a ring. And then for your oracle cards, we have empowerment and work. <clears throat> Then we have peace and chop wood. All right. So what does your person want to say to you other than I care too much about what others think right now? But anyways, what, what other people think right now, they care and they have a mask. I feel like they're falling in love with you and they're afraid what other people are going to think about that. I feel like I'm also hearing that you see them in a different way than other people do. And it's like you can see the real them. That's what I'm hearing. I just want you to be happy. It's not just that. It's not that they just want you to be happy, but they want you to have a nice house and stuff like that. Like with the house, I'm feeling like they want you to have a nice house with the people that you love surrounding you. And they're not feeling like enough. They don't they don't feel like they are able to give you that, at least not right now, or they don't feel like they're good enough. Your words linger in my mind with labyrinth. Your labyrinth is like their mind, so the words keep like going and flowing through their minds. And I feel like something that you said to them might have been how much you like them. Maybe romance is blooming blooming. So so you know. They want a date. Maybe you said they want a date. And that keeps flowing in their mind. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Oh, the death card. It's like a transformation. It's like coffin. is transformation ending to bring a new beginning. They're trying to figure out what's missing. They have many options. Decision. Unconventional. A string along. One night stand decision about potentially ending something to have a new beginning. All right. Here we have empowerment. I'm feeling like they're working. This is about working on themselves. They're doing a lot of work on themselves. They need a lot of work on themselves and they're trying to be there. It's like you've empowered them with some of the words that you've said to them. I'm feeling to try to make a change, to transform, to work on themselves, work on the situation. There's a lot of work. We have chop wood, you know, this is about working. I feel like that some your person might be like spending a lot of time maybe working on a car or um, just working on something, working on their house. They're doing something like kind of mundane, like chopping wood, right? And in order to help them gain peace and clarity. So they're in their mind thinking about your words that are lingering in their mind, in their mind while they're doing all of these mundane tasks.
And also I'm hearing that they want, and like what are here, it's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true, okay, I'm feeling like, it's like they want to feel whole, but it's like there's like empowerment. And it's also given them peace to be empowered. I don't feel like they were feeling like that before. All right, so let's see what this are. So we have um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. So they would want to say something along those lines about acceptance. And then there's no point trying to change what is beyond your control. So this person, I feel like they're working and they want to change, but there's some things that I feel like they've kind of given up on. That's why they're like, I want, I just want you to be happy because they don't feel like that they can give you what they want, but they are constantly thinking about you. And we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember love is the greatest healer. So they might actually want to still come together and, and this way and have some fun together. And but I think it's something that's going to take time. They might want to get together and they might just play it off. I'm picking up as like friends, maybe play everything off like friends because they don't feel like they're good enough that they can give you what you want or what they think that you want. And, but you do empower them. You do, I feel like I, I can't, it doesn't say it, but I do feel like you do give them a sense of hope and you give them peace. Okay. That they could potentially do that. I feel like there's like a, a like a sand there's like a granule of that that you've given them, which has to grow. So I would give them more time because they're definitely, I feel like they're definitely growing. They're like, they're like, it's just a seed right now. I feel like that you have planted a seed though, and that things are going to change. They're going to be transforming. Cause, but right now it's just like you just planted a seed. It just needs some time. Anyways, that's all I have for option number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to option number three. All right, so here we have the cards for option number three with the fossil watch. And what does it say? Can you read it? What time is it? Let's go ahead and find out what your person wants to say to you. I'm going to read those after. Those are just your love oracle cards. Alright, so first we have, I feel too much pressure right now. Then we have, I'm still trying to find myself. Then we have, I got spooked. And it's easier to just stay away right now. Clarifying, I feel too much pressure right now. We have heart. Clarifying, I'm still trying to find myself. We have whip. Clarifying, I got spooked. We have dog. Clarifying, it's easier to just stay away right now. We have moon. Clarifying, heart. We have healthy choices. Clarifying, whip. We have palm tree. Clarifying dog, we have girl with a snake. Clarifying moon, we have love call. And then for your oracle cards, we have true offering. Positivity. Then we have time for a nap. Then we have no place like home. All right, so I feel too much pressure right now. I feel like they're trying to make, they're working on their self. 
they're having trying to have some self-care they're working on being happier they're feeling a pressure to be happier with heart is about happier and feeling more joy and making healthy choices in love and in life some they might actually be wanting to take care and picking up to take care of their own heart like their own physical health as well and I'm hearing that they're feeling a lot of pressure right now and there's something they might be trying to heal on picking up for a few of you I'm still trying to find myself What they mean by, it's like trying to find my feet. It's like they're trying to find the ability to be stable. And they're actually still conflicted on how that, how that is, like what that is. Like what does it mean to be stable? What, what, what would it, what is it about then? What is it about whatever that they're into? They're, they're trying to find something that makes them stable. But they're also trying to find out who they are. So it's like they're trying to find out what they want to do maybe for work, what kind of job they want to have, something like that, you know, where they're trying to find themselves. They want, it's not just that they know, want to know what kind of person they are. They want to know, like, they're trying to find out who they want to be, what do they want to do for work, that kind of thing. Because they want to be more stable. They want to be secure. Okay. Endurance and flexibility right here with the palm tree. So I got spooked. So for a moment they did get spooked right because um in all actuality you were being the dog you were being loyal you're being dependable you're devoted you were all of these things but they were for a moment they got afraid that you were like a narcissist or something that you're trying to charm them or use them and they were they got triggered and they started enabling their boundaries that's what it's saying right here and then it says it's easier to just stay away right now. And the reason why that it's easier to stay away, they have all of these fantasies and dreams that they want to accomplish. They, there's something they want to do and they have a desire that they do want to talk to you. They do think of you and they want to message you and, and they might even be communicating with you, but they might not be coming around and being around you and being with you physically. And they're just maybe talking and, you know, picking up. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you're doing, but... I feel like, you know, someone expresses love. So it's easier for them to just stay right because they're working on trying to figure out who they are. They're working on themselves, right? True offering. So this is one thing they're trying to do. They're trying to release their fears, illusions, and for some, even some addictions for some. And I'm also hearing that they want to be able to give you a true offering, not just anything. They want to be stable and everything. They want to be like, hey, I have this and this is going to be awesome and everything. But they want to offer you like something stable, something solid. And right now they don't feel like they can do that because we have the time for a nap. So it's, they're putting their relationship down for a nap for right now because they're working on their themselves and their abundance. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, positivity if you can find even one thing that would be grateful for yeah they're trying to be more they are trying to be more positive they're trying to be in a sense of gratefulness and not lack of gratitude instead of lack which is actually really good because that's going to really help them get what they want I feel like they are definitely on the right track and then no place like home I feel like that they feel like you're home to them there's no, there's nothing like that. And, but they also, again, it's about, you know, the home is also about stability, security, right? So they want to have security and stability with you. And they're trying to have that. But also they want to say that they, there is no place like home, like that you're home to them. And there's nothing else like that. All right. So the first card that jumps at me is weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So they're kind of telling you, wait. They want to say, wait. Why? Because they're still working on themselves. They're still trying to figure out who they are and what they're doing. And they want to be stable and secure before they get into thing, anything too deep. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So they feel like that you have a lot of, that you're a lot alike, that you have a lot in common. Maybe you're trying to find yourself as well and there's something similar that you're going through. 
Anyways, that's all I have for option number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to option number four. All right, so here we have the cards for option number four with the bunny. And I actually got this from Spiritual Goodies. They sent it to me to share with you guys for this, was it January? Yeah, Spiritual Goodies, hit me up, send me another one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and find out what your person would like to say to you. All right, so first we have, I will make things right between us one day. Then we have, I'm afraid to take that next step right now. Then we have, I've thought a lot about you lately. Then we have, I'm more affected than you know. All right, clarifying, I will make things right between us one day. We have stars. Clarifying, I'm afraid to take that next step right now. We have dice. Clarifying, I've thought a lot about you lately. We have storks. Clarifying, I'm more affected than you know. We have birds. Clarifying stars, we have sunglasses. Clarifying dice, we have addiction. Clarifying storks, we have boat. Clarifying birds, we have clock. And for your oracle cards, we have challenges, change. Here and now, and milk and honey. And these are your oracle cards, which I'll read. Your love oracle, which I will read at the end. All right, so what does your person want to say? All right, so I will make things right between us one day. So they have a strong desire. They are really hoping and wishing that they can make things right. And also I'm picking up that they look at your social media. They're like watching and stalking. Okay, so I feel like that they are looking at your social media and they're just hoping that everything works out okay so they can come towards you. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. See, because they're hesitant. They're afraid. They have some, they do have some kind of re block or restraint, okay? It could be like that they do actually have a literal addiction. Uh, they could just be having some codependent behavior, obsessive behavior. Maybe they have they have something something toxic going on with another person. Or it could be just something else. Something has a block. They have some kind of block or some kind of restraint. They do want to take a risk, okay? But they're just afraid to do it right now okay it's like they're trying to work on whatever this restriction is that's holding them back because this card is a lot like the devil card all right i've thought a lot about you lately and what they think about is they think about getting what receiving what they need from you they you know the kind of like relationship that they really want they think about having a new beginning for some they might even think about having a baby with you or if you have children with them or if you're pregnant with their child they might be thinking about that but also with the boat is about they they want to arrive they're they're thinking about you and they're thinking about progressing and improving and progressing your relationship to a new beginning I'm more affected than you know I can't, I'm like picking up there might have been some kind of connection, like a uh, connection, um, some kind of communication. And it, it, with the birds, it, it could be gossip, some kind of communication uh, with gossip. It could be, it's like, this could be nervous communication or gossip. And there, maybe there's some kind of gossip or something that they've heard or, you know, and they're affected by it, even if it's true or not. And, and, and it's going to take some time to heal. That, I don't know what that was, but let me know in the comments below what that was.
All right, so they're definitely going through some challenges. They would want to tell you that they're going through a lot of challenges right now. They're trying, there's something they want to change. They're, there's something that they're changing about themselves. And I, it could be, it's, it's like this. It's like they're changing that blocker restriction. They're wanting to change it and doing that is a challenge. But they're trying to take it one day at a time. They're stay, trying to stay in the, in the now. Okay, here and now, they're trying to be here in the now. That's all they can do is they're just doing one day at a time. That's why they're not like, I don't see any real, like they fantasize, I feel like. they, they When they think about you, they fantasize about what they want with you. But the most part, for the most part, they're trying to stay in the now. They do want to make a change because they want to have this land of milk and honey, right? Milk and honey, they want to have this wonderful life. They want him to have a happy life with you. See right here with change, it's like they're taking it one step at a time. This is the one, these are like similar energy cards. It's saying don't scare yourself with the first, the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. I feel like that they're trying to work on taking that one next action. I feel like it's what they're wanting to say. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into the into one who can take it. So he, they're really trying to change themselves into the person who can take that next step that they're afraid to take. All right, let's see what these cards say. So we have. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So they do love you and not only do they love you, their love is as deep as the ocean. So they love you very much and they're actually willing to do all of these things and they want to totally change everything that they're doing and everything to be with you. It's just they're trying to get there. Then we have soulmate. So this person feels that you are a soulmate. I mean, for some, there could be even twin flames mixed in here and you just might be at this stage of your development. But with soulmate, it's like your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I feel like they believe that you're their soulmate. Anyways, that's all I have for option number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and move on all together because it's the last pile. I'm like going in automatic mode. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.